Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Icon. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you set up keyboard shortcuts. Normally within Control My Icon, you just click on a button to do something, such as clicking on Shoot, captures an image, turning on Live View, flipping between Live View and the browser. You can set up keyboard shortcuts to do this, and it often just makes it a lot easier and faster to do. So let's go over here under Tools to Shortcuts. And by default, we do have some keyboard shortcuts defined, but very few. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the different actions that you can assign a keyboard shortcut to. So by default, you can see that we have Shift-C for Connect, Shift-D for Disconnect, but let's set up a key to shoot. And I just go to shoot and I double click and it brings up these three question marks which means it's awaiting your key input. Now you can use keyboard combination. You could use a shift control alt H if you wanted to or you can just use a single letter. Now I'm just going to use F5. Now once you have pressed the key you're still in editing mode because you can press another key if you like to change it. So I'll bring it back to F5 and all you need to do to save that is click somewhere else. If you wanted to clear it, you right click and then click somewhere else and now it's gone. So I'll set it back to F5. Okay, it's saved. So now I am currently connected to the camera so I'll press F5 on the keyboard and it captures. Now this is real handy, especially if you have a wireless keyboard, because you might take that wireless keyboard and move it maybe a little closer to whatever you're shooting, have your monitors and computer a little bit further away. A PowerPoint remote has buttons and they act just like the keys on your normal computer keyboard. If I had a PowerPoint remote here, I could go to, for example, HDR capture, double click on it to start editing, press a button on the PowerPoint remote and it will be mapped here. But we have a separate tutorial on setting up a PowerPoint remote. The shortcuts you set up are global, which means that they're used for all profiles. This information is not stored per profile, but is used by all of them. And that's it. That's how you set up keyboard shortcuts in Controlman Icon. Happy tethering.